From the desk of the Dean, I am Mr. Christensen. Welcome. Everybody, coming up is Halloween. Uh, I believe it is on Friday, October 31st, and people are already starting to ask if they are going to be allowed to wear Halloween costumes to school, and the answer is yes. All right, yes, once again this year, we are going to allow you to wear Halloween costumes. Uh, however, there are a few things that we need to keep in mind regarding the, the costumes. Boys and girls, before you go out and you spend money or if you're going to have a costume and you have any questions or doubts of whether or not you're going to be able to wear it, please ask us first. Please come to me. Uh, kids in the past have shown me pictures. Um, they've shown me things on the internet. They've given me ideas and they've asked if things are okay or not okay. Some of the things that you need to remember, if you're going to wear a mask, you cannot wear a mask on the bus, you cannot wear a mask when you come through the gate, and you cannot wear a mask in the classroom. All right, so we need to be able to see you know, who you are uh, in the classroom and when coming through the school. The next thing is that you still, uh-oh, uh-oh, sorry everybody. You still must have your IDs on. Um, even though it's Halloween, you can wear costumes, you still must have an ID on at all times. So we are aware of who you are and know that you do belong here on campus. If you're gonna wear makeup, you must have your makeup already on before you come to school. You cannot bring makeup and aerosol cans to school and apply them in the bathroom. If we catch you with these items, we are gonna confiscate them and you will not get them back unless your parents wanna come. Just a couple more things regarding Halloween costumes. Remember that if you are, that we cannot have any type of weapons here at school. So if your costume, let's say you're gonna be a police officer, you cannot have a toy gun or a fake gun with your costume. If you're a zombie or something like that, you can't have a sword or any type of blade uh, type of weapon. Even if it's plastic, even if it's a replica, you cannot have it. So please keep those at home. The other thing is, whatever, whatever your costume may be, it still must adhere to our dress code policy of fingertips. So if you're wearing, let's say you're gonna be a waitress or something like that, your, your skirt must still be longer than fingertips. And you cannot wear clothes that, again, do not cover your entire shoulder or that show on your stomachs or back. Hey, just remember everybody, again, if you have any questions or doubts about your costume, please ask us first. Um, I'd hate to, to ruin and be a spoiler on Halloween. Please be safe on this day. Uh, if you're going out trick-or-treating at nighttime, you know, please go with a buddy, please go with a group of people. Um, you know, be careful crossing streets. You know, you think you're safe, but other people aren't watching for you. So please be smart, be safe, have fun, but be smart here at school as well. Last thing, and the thing I need to remind everybody about is, as far as our, our school policy goes. We've been get, seeing a lot of kids that are still coming to school wearing leggings and jeggings. Um, and also the new thing is wearing like soccer pants and, and sweatpants and, and sweat shorts. You guys, I, I, we've told you guys numerous times and it's also in your handbook. It's been a policy of ours since day one. You are not allowed to wear these items to school. We've been making kids come to the office. We've been calling parents for a change of clothes making everything an inconvenience for everybody. And it, please stop disrupting our campus. Follow these rules. We're not gonna break, we're not gonna change them because you wanna be comfortable or you wanna wear something stylish. Again, please follow our rules. No sweatpants, no, no soccer pants, no any type of sports pants or shorts allowed on campus. And again, no jeggings, tights, or, or leggings at all. Please again, follow our dress code. Have a good week, everybody.